Thanks for joining New Jersey News Network. I'm Kimberly Jade. The CDC is testing two people in the tri-state area for the deadly coronavirus. The patients are being evaluated for a novel strain of this virus that is not yet detected in humans. Officials say that both patients are over 60 years old and recently visited mainland China. Nearly 12,000 cases have been confirmed and more than 250 deaths. People, as a precaution, uh, United Airlines and other major carriers recently suspended all flights to China. 15,000 jobs hang in the balance while the port of Paulsboro continues to work out some issues and city officials are not happy. Nearly three years after the $255 million state funded marine terminal opened in Gloucester County, officials claim the port is still dragging its feet to complete the project. The 190 acre petroleum storage field was to be revitalized and generate over $1 billion in economic benefits and create thousands of jobs. NJ Transit is preparing its employees to help stop a very serious international problem on the rails. Human trafficking is everywhere and many victims use public transportation to get from place to place. The new mission is for NJ Transit employees to recognize trafficking when it happens in hopes of saving lives. New Jersey just celebrated a milestone 20 years ago. A landmark law to fight sex and labor trafficking was passed. The National Human Trafficking Hotline reports that 25 million people around the world are used for sex and labor. A renowned Jersey girl passed away this weekend. The late great author from New Jersey, Mary Higgins Clark, died at 92 years old. Clark was always seen with her daughter and author Carol Higgins Clark. The best-selling author passed away of natural causes and was surrounded by her family. She had a very close relationship with Carol and both are best known for their suspense stories. Mary's novels were turned into feature films and television shows and the world-renowned author lived in Spring Lake and Saddle River and she was inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame back in 2011. At one part, she was part owner of the New Jersey Nets. New Jersey brick and mortars are starting the year tightening their belts. More than 30 chain stores are closing and hundreds are expected to be laid off. Stores like Sears, GameStop, Pier 1 Imports and AC Moore, just to name a few, will close their doors across the state. At least 32 major chains announced shutdowns or plans to in the near future. Experts are calling it a retail apocalypse. As expected, retail giant Amazon is in great shape. For the first time, they will be opening new brick and mortar stores at some malls in New Jersey this year. For for a list of those retailers planning on shutting down, you can visit our website, njnn.tv. We're nearing 50 and sunny today, but what's to be expected for the rest of the week? Let's check in with Nor'easter Nick. Well, temperatures across the entire area are coming up at this hour thanks to a southwest wind and things are looking really nice through the remainder of the day, especially with partly to mostly sunny skies. Right now we're at 49 in Philadelphia, 50 for Atlantic City. And we're going to see 50s getting even into southern New England, 60s to the south. South Jersey could get to around 60 degrees. We are watching this frontal boundary to our west, and that's going to come in and be an issue for the rest of the week. That's why today is the pick day of the week. Things kind of go downhill into Tuesday. We'll throw in a couple shower chances. Wednesday, kind of wet and rainy, lower 50s, and then Thursday morning especially, we are watching this system that looks to bring us some wintry weather potentially, north of 80 and 78, some ice, some snow. Yeah, that <clears throat> could potentially be in the cards. When I come back in big weather, we'll take a look at that and a look at your seven-day forecast. Stay tuned. Super Bowl 54 is come and gone, and the Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers for this year's Lombardi Trophy. As always, the famed commercials are a very big part of the game, and here's one with a local jersey tie. Back in December, students from Patterson got a super surprise while on a field trip to Philadelphia. The kids were at the Art Museum, famous for its artwork, and the Rocky statue. Little did they know that Rocky, played by actor Sylvester Stallone, who was also shooting a commercial there. As you can see, the students were very excited. The commercial he was filming aired in last night's Super Bowl. The Facebook spot also features Chris Rock. Thanks, as always, for joining us. I'm Kimberly Jade.